I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be Bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> Palam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. Are you serious? I did my part. She's dead. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... <sighs> Forgive me, there is an order. I call for rehabilitation. The Skulls will do public theater about the evils of evil. I also judge the box. End table for orphans. That's quite enough, Inquisitor. Point taken. Inquisitor, I wonder if you might help me with a delicate situation. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but you won't tell me what it's for. My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. I would not have attained my position at court if I didn't know when to be silent. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. Yes? Claim too many lives. I pray.
pray that it's over for good. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. The fun never ends in Skyhold, does it? The Inquisitor was hilarious. That's what they'll say one day, you watch. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. If they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because they don't know what you are, and they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. I just don't know why they believe Leliana or I would be any better. If you don't want it, then tell them so. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars, this cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you of all people say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. The Chantry has failed, Cassandra. I'm not surprised a non-believer would say that. I wonder if the legions of faithful throughout Thedas would agree with you. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. You're not the only candidate. What about Liliana? Liliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy. But she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. And that would be chaos for us all. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. Perhaps the Chantry needs more than just change. You mean get rid of it entirely? I disagree. Without the Chantry, the faithful would be lost. The Chantry must simply be more responsible in how it leads. I suppose I should not be so concerned, 
The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. <laughs>